Okay, now that we have completed the model, now we need to generate the orthographic views. Uh, for this one, we are going to use the command line and type solve view command. And uh, these commands are available under the different work settings. If you switch to 3D modeling, you will have access to. But it's uh, typing also is a good option to from the keyboard. Just to remember, you type solve view first. As soon as you do that, it's going to switch to uh, layout mode, and it's going to give you a already existing um, viewport, which you have this yellow borderline. If you uh, click on this um, yellow borderline and press escape key, it first of all, cancel this command, and then delete this yellow borderline. What this one does and deletes your automatically generated view and you have clean uh, very blank um, screen right now with the layout in the layout mode which is layout one right now i'm in and now type this command one more time sol view solid view which stands for solid view when you press enter it's going to ask you a few things uh, there are uh, four choices UCS, ortho, auxiliary, and sections. Now we are creating the orthographic views by selecting the UCS first. So, what this does, it brings your current UCS in if you select the current as a default by accepting that or selecting the current from the sub menu. And then it's going to ask you for a scale. By pressing enter, you're keeping the default scale one to one. And now it's asking view center. For this one, just uh, because this is going to be our front view, we know that because we saved the model under the front view. And if I click a point any place on the screen, you would notice that it's appearing as a front view. And pick another point until you pick the desired location. We know that by uh, general rules in standard orthographic view layout front view would be in the on this location that i'm drawing so it seems like there's a good place as soon as you're satisfied with the location press enter so you can select as many as you want until you press enter it's going to repeat the same question is that a specified view center so once you're decided that this is the location you want press enter to finish now it's going to ask you that you specify the first corner of the viewport. You pick two points as I'm picking upper right corner and lower right corner, and defining the port. So make sure that that view completely shows within that window. Now you have done that, it's going to ask you for name. Type front. By pressing enter, you call this view as a front. The next, now you're going to select the ortho because you want to project from this one. By selecting the side, it's asking, specify the side of the viewport. You pick, as you move your cursor, it's going to automatically select the midpoint for you. So it locks in that position and then is asking you the same question. You specify the view center. And as you see, this is a top view of the same model and it's projected directly on top of that. Once you are happy with the location, press enter. Select again view two points. It's going to ask you for the name, top. We call this one top view. Press enter. Now, we're going to repeat the same thing this time again we're going to say ortho and select the right side of the front view as you notice as i move it's going to be like select the midpoint and then location of the side view on the right side view would be on the right of the front view this is the standard view layout based on a third angle projection method that we uh, learned this in basic drafting okay so now this is going to be side view location i'm happy with that again i can pick as many points as i want to define that location and press enter and now 
specify the corners and define the ports around it and then give a name we call this one side or right side and that finishes our three views press enter to end Now, as you see, these are still 3D models and looking from different directions. These are not 2D drawings yet. So the next step is going to be drawing the, using the SOL draw, S-O-L-D-R-A. That stands for solid drawing. As you type the SOL draw command, press enter. All you have to do is select the object, select the ports. You're not selecting this model. You cannot select this model because you're on the paper space and these are created in the model space. But you can select these ports. You can select all of them once, all three of them, and press enter. This is the stage is going to generate the drawings. As you notice, now there are 2D drawings. Okay, what happened in this process? A lot of layers are created for you. If you open your layer dialog box, you're going to see that there's many layers added to and each one uh, each view has uh, three different layers generated automatically let's for example if you look to the side we have side dimension side dim side hid side hidden line and side visible same thing for top three layers so right now we generated nine different layers and each one controls different things right now we are not dimensioning we are just going to use the hidden lines for the side height i'm going to change the color we can see the changes i'm going to change that one to blue number number five and now notice that lines are blue and I need to change the line type, which shows continuous, to hidden. Right now I have hidden loaded. Hidden 2 is loaded, which I'm going to select hidden 2. You can load hidden. Hidden 2 should be fine. And then apply. And notice that the hole is generated with the hidden lines. So if there is any hidden lines on the side view, it would show but other hidden lines like the one on the top doesn't show so that means we have to go individually change all those and also you may want to change your visible lines you can select by the way by holding the control selecting all the visibles right now i'm selecting all the visibles so side visible top visible and front visible i'm going to I'm going to select the, all those. Uh, let me just repeat one more time. I'm holding the control key, selecting the front visible. And I have selected side visible and top visible. Once I have selected all these three layers, I'm going to go to change the default line weight to 0.5. Point 0.5 millimeter and OK. As you notice, the line thickness changed for those visible lines. Now I'm going to go to top view. Front view doesn't have any hidden lines, so I don't have to worry. On the top view, I have the hidden lines representing the holes. And I'm going to go to top and select the top hidden and change the color to blue and change the line weight the line type rather line type from the continuous to hidden hidden to okay that is did not change for some reason. Let me double check that, make sure that is, I did select correctly. A top hidden, I said blue, and I did change the line type. And for some reason did not change. Maybe should have hidden line. These are hidden. 
Um, that's something I'm not sure why did not change. Oh, I have not changed the color here. I've changed the viewport color. Okay. And now that changed the color. And now is the question of changing the line type. Uh, probably I have hidden to VP line. Okay, I that changed the wrong one. I have changed the VP. It should be line type, not the viewport line type. There are two of them. So that's what I accidentally I changed them. So this can happen to you also. So just make sure you change in the right layer. So as you notice, now this is completely done. So normally these boxes that we have here, uh, we should not delete those. Definitely, they are. If you delete that, you are deleting the view, not the model. By the way, if you go back to the model space, you have all your model. You see what happened here. Projected those views as you see here. At this time. You may want to create one isometric view by using this view tool under the... Uh, we do have that view tool here. You can type this one also, UCS view, or select the view. And what it does, it stays on the same XY parallel to screen like 2D. So if I go to save this view, uh, I can go to the UCS and say I'm going to use the named and save and call this one ISO and then press enter. Then I'm going to go to solve view and I'm going to place this isometric view here on this corner and I'm going to select the UCS this time I'm going to select named because we saved it. It's going to ask me enter name of UCS to restore. You can type ISO, we call it ISO. Press enter. It's going to ask you to scale. This scale can be different than your drawn scale. We are going to change a smaller value for that, 0.5, half scale. And then view center. As you notice, this comes in as parallel to screen, but it's still isometric. It's not a front view. Press Enter, and then select the two points to define the port. And name this one. You can still name them ISO. And finish by pressing Enter. We're going to still you see his model. We want to switch to drawn by using the sol draw. Select the port. And that drawn is created as you see. Now, same thing happened here. We created a layer for this one, three different layers called ISO because we named it ISO. Let's go to look to ISO, what we have here. ISO dimension, ISO hidden. I'm going to freeze ISO hidden because we don't want to show the hidden line in isometric. And line type, you can change them to be uniform, all the line types, line thickness rather, uh, under the ISO visible. I'm going to select the line uh, type continuous, but line weight. To be from default change it to 0.5 okay now one more thing we need to do before print uh, is to we don't want to display these rectangles around it but we cannot delete them but we can freeze them okay if you go back to the layers very your last layer is called viewports uh, we have one viewport we, we have created in the title block, which is yellow. That's the one I deleted. Now we have viewports, which we want to freeze. In order to freeze that has to be changed because right now that's my current layer. I can switch my current layer to any layer other than that. Like say zero layer, for example, or dimension layer, or se select the front um, visible. 
So now that's front visible is my new uh, current layer. I can freeze viewport. So that's clean 2D uh, orthographic projection drawings. Next step is to, uh, while you are on the paper space, make sure you double click on the title block and change the information and create your um, PDF uh, version printed drawings. Going to um, plot manager and selecting the print or plot and selecting. I have already saved something from previous. If you review that, you see that I have selected the um, AutoCAD PDF generated document, PC3, and preview. You notice that PDF is created for us. You can print that one, saves as a PDF, and submit. That is how we created 3D views generated from 3D model in AutoCAD. It's, there are a couple of steps that you have to take here, uh, but we do for you exercise, you will practice with this.